more time in the forest here. I wanted to show you how good of a location this was. I did a video uh, on this a while ago. Those are the hardest to find uh, critters in the forest. Uh, and if you're looking to build, uh, make yourself one of these uh, warm suits, you have to have them. And the location that I tried to show you before, I said was one of the safest locations on the ground. I mean, as far as uh, not at sea or one of the islands. But uh, one of the safest locations, and one of the best locations, uh, is the one that's, well, hang on, um, right about there. See the red pin? You'll spawn most of the time, I mean, directly across from that straight, in a straight line heading west or left of that pin. Um, but I wanted to show you why this was just one of the, I was just doing some stuff, gathering some materials, and uh, just kind of, uh, wondering what I was going to do next for my for the What Remains of Edith Finch series. Just uh, that that game just royally blows. So um, I stopped doing that and haven't done a video since. Uh, I thought what I would do here is just kind of get back into the forest for a few and see if there was any other kind of pro tips that I could share with new people and as i just showed you the hard, two of the hardest things to find um, in this game uh, the hardest thing to find in terms of vegetables or, or, or plants um, would be aloe because it's also the most valuable um, it, you can get rid of infections with it uh heal anything you can just eat it straight out and no more infection um, or you can mix it with marigold and other stuff to make uh, medicines. And some medicines actually increase your stamina. Anyway, uh, so you've got aloe, you've got marigold, you've got chicory, you've got everything in this area. And, of course, like I just showed you, you have the hardest to find critter. Um, and they're, they are plentiful. You don't have to have a cold seat to get them. The other place to get them is up north, um, uh, but you have to go through the snow to get them, and they are very rare up there, indeed. Um, this location, as you can see, there's another one, just flopping right by it. Now, small critters you can kill with, uh, see? Oh, buddy. Small critters you can kill with uh, the slingshot. And if you're starting off early in the first part of the game, you got to make yourself a slingshot immediately. It is the best, it'll become your best friend because it has the biggest um, uh, range in terms of. Uh, you being able to come close to hitting something and killing it. Uh, you really have to hit something with a spear or an arrow. Um, and they're small, as you can see. But a, uh, a slingshot allows you to miss by a few uh, inches at least um, and still take out your target. I don't know really why I'm doing this. I'm just building up stuff. I tell you, this is the, I, I still say this is the best place. I have done all of this. I mean, you've got livestock everywhere. You've got deer. You've got, uh, with the exception of the boar, which you will have to go up north for. Up north is right in that direction. With the exception of the boar, everything is here. The boar are the only things you're going to have to travel up north to get. Everything else is here. Uh, and once you get the cold suit, uh, really, that's the end of the the shakes when you're when it rains. Um, there's plenty of food here, and like I said before. 
I have done all this farming, all this harvesting, and I haven't seen a single cannibal. It has to be the safest place. How many rocks are these things holding? Jesus. <sighs> I don't really intend to build anything. Um, the other reason this is one of the best places to build, aside from the plentiful food and fish, there are two ponds. One that's up there I showed you, and that's where the raccoons are up there. Um, there's another pond right over here. <laughs> it's got more fish in it. But you've also got plethora of berries. All the different berries. Um, I mean, it's just perfect. The location is absolutely perfect. Uh, where's the other fish? Here, fishy, fishy. Right here. There you go. Um, and like I said, uh, it's just, it's an endless supply of food. It's an endless supply of uh, I'll show you where the aloe is real quick. I had simply mentioned in the previous video that you could get to the raccoon up top like that, right there. Um, but, and when I was doing some gatherings, so just some regular, you know, foraging kind of stuff, um, I happened upon a bunch of them. So, do I need any aloe? No, I can't even think of it. Can I? Energy mix. Health mix. I can make a couple. No. Okay. Uh, see? Hello. Uh, I would not lie to you. Quite possibly, uh, arguably, the best place to build, in my opinion. I think of what it's worth. Like I said, uh, I've been here this whole time doing all of this and uh, gathering all this stuff, building all of these things. And I have seen no cannibals, none. No mutants, no cannibals, none. There was one time in a video I made before when I was actually surprised to find one cannibal sniffing around my wall. That was it. <coughs> so, oh. One last thing. Uh, another reason this is a good location now the plane, as you can see, you see the blue right in front of me, right dead in front of me. Um, that's the blue tail section. Typically, the plane's going to end up there or a little bit uh, east of there, but it's going to be in that area. This lake is the easiest thing on the map to find, aside from the aside from the uh, uh, the sinkhole. Uh, building in the middle of the lake is actually pretty cool, if you can do that. Uh, hang on a second. Let me show you real quick. See? Uh, you find that lake, and uh, you're in good shape. I just see I'm in the lake. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So, uh, you find that lake, you're in good shape. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you're spawn right there and that's where your crash comes down it's just due east cross the lake do your stamina trick like i showed you um, go under the water and sit for a while on a pond if you like if it's deep enough and then come over here and build build with rocks rocks are stronger Cannibals can't hurt the rock walls. Mutants can, but cannibals can't. Put the sticks on top so they can't jump over. Use the back wall as your third wall, as your fourth wall. Right? 
Um, you don't have to have a large location. And as you can see, you build with the rocks over here because they just keep respawning. They're endless. I don't even know why I bother making rock holders. I guess just because. What? Uh, trees are a bit more, a bit rare. I took out a whole small little forest over there. Um, but, like I said, this is the best location. You don't really need a whole lot. Place to save, a place to sleep, a place to fire, to cook. Uh, a bunch of these racks. So you can dry your meat. I dry everything. I don't cook anything. I always dry everything. Uh, water carrier, water collector. And uh, I built on the, on the wall up there so that uh, I could take shots at things if they're attacked. But as you can see, the animal life is so plentiful here. So terribly plentiful. You cannot believe it. So uh, I think if you're going to build on the ground someplace, uh, this is the best location. If you're playing with a co op with some friends or something, two people could do this and could build one of these in uh, half a game day easily very easily uh, because as you can see all those rocks have already respawned in and there's just nobody to bother you I don't know if that's a glitch uh, there is a little cannibal village over there hi birdie how you doing there is a little cannibal village over there um, I carry armor with me ten of those seven of those uh, but don't need it uh, just simply don't need it because over here there is very little to attack you know I think there's a, a trail a path up there that they run in their pattern <laughs> hunting route maybe for them I don't know but um, uh, just look at all the life uh, out there look at all the birds and so forth and so on uh, again if you're just getting started welcome to the forest that right there is your best friend that is literally your best friend dead squirrel <laughs> Try do try doing that with a uh, with a spear. Good luck with that. Aw, he's a twitcher. I feel bad. Hi, buddy. Okay, so there you go. Um, I just dropped my thing. See you, bud. Um. There you go, save two trees. Uh, so you can uh, collect a bunch of feathers. You have birds here, you have rocks here, you have everything you need. And as you go through your day, collect what you need. In terms of rocks, every now and then stop and put them in your rock holder. Uh, but you have sticks over here. Uh, plenty of hunting up there, and of course, the wily raccoon. And I'm still waiting for trees up, which I'm not getting. Uh, you definitely need to take the time to get yourself a second pot and use the first one for trees up. I'm telling you. Just to go back up and show you, it wasn't a fluke. I didn't spawn those raccoons in. I'll come up here and I guarantee you there's going to be a raccoon running around here someplace. Yeah, I'm like right there. These don't hurt him. These just make him run away from you. You can kill a fish with a, with a slingshot. 
How about that? Let's see if we can kill a fish with a slingshot. There's a fish. It worked! <laughs> that is unbelievable. I killed two with one slingshot. With one rock. That's awesome. Uh, like I said, the, uh, the raccoons don't get, uh, you can't kill a raccoon with a slingshot. Fucking slingshot fishing. Man, that is, that is awesome. That's much better than using a spear. How oh, deep. Wow. Uh, that is much better than a spear. I will have to admit that. Okay, so I've discovered something new. Uh, small rocks are kind of a pain to find. So, you know, when you do this, um, try your best to recoup your rocks. I find that they're, they're mostly like beach side. Um, but like anything else, if you find one, you got to look around closely because you're going to find a couple more. Um, wow, I didn't know that. Slingshot fishing. That sounds like a title for the video. Uh, okay, there you go. I'm just going to go back in here and hang up my stuff. Put the rest of my rocks away. There you go. All of that collected, basically all that built. I have one cannibal the whole time. Uh, you, you can't beat it. And it's all built by myself. Uh, if you have somebody you're working with in a co-op, right, you could uh, easily um, three fish. What else did I get up there? Oh yeah, I got the squirrel meat. Hang on a second. I gotta cook the squirrel meat. Or a human leg. Why do I have a human leg? That's really odd. I don't know. There it is. I have a head too. I don't know why I have a head. Okay. Anyway, uh, I will save it that. Um, like I said, it's even better weapon than I thought. Not only can you uh, easily take out uh, little critters from a distance with the old slingshot, but you can also go fishing with it. So, how do you beat that? Best early stage weapon in the game. That and the double stick spear. Um, and there you go. Just a few more hits, hints and tips. Thank you for watching.